Hi there folks, it's uh, it's the weekend, the weather's beautiful and I've come back to a, a location I've done a couple of times now I um, don't know if you can guess, let's just uh, let's see if you can guess where we are Can you guess where we are? If you look just in that line there, does that maybe give it away? And the fact there's a little plane in the sky Well, if you haven't guessed yet, we're back at Acaster Malbis, at the communal site. Um, it's been building work going on and a lot of the roofs have been removed and some of the pig equipment, so I thought we'll uh, call in and have a look. Now, first off we're going to go a little bit beyond the communal site to a wooded area just to uh, have a nosy about and see if there's anything left to uh, uncover. Well, that's the entrance to the uh, communal site, but well, we shall come back to that shortly. First of all, we're going to follow this path, and this leads up to the technical area of the airfield. Building there. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, what have we got here then? Just down that on the floor, folks. Looks like some kind of roller. Maybe it's some kind of building. I'm going to walk around it first. Yeah, I'm guessing that's sealing a door up. Yeah. Possible. Yeah, it's all sealed up. Still standing. We'll have, have a look on the site plan and just see what this building is. Oh yeah. Shame I can't get in there folks. Oh, that's um, like an old Morris. Yes, that definitely looks like a Morris bonnet. Oh, yeah. Morris Marina van, maybe. There's some of the steering components. There's the foot pedals. That looks like an old Morris. And that looks like it was off somewhere else. Maybe an old box hole or something. A bit, bit of old scrap. There's no engine. Hey, what else can we find? Somebody's just found a blast shelter. Yeah. Seems to be a lot of stuff 
dotted about. Yeah, this is full of rubble. Oh, look, old plate. And it's got a date on it 1952. Is that like a bath for babies? That is a proper like little tin bath. How mad. But there seems to be a lot of things left up here. Not sure, looks like a lid off something. Crazy. It's almost like somebody's been metal detecting. I'm not sure. Any ideas, folks? It looks like it could be some kind of silencer off an engine. You know, it has baffles in it. Well, yeah, this is weird, isn't it, this? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, another remains of a care. What do you think this one will be? This is something old. Oh. There we go, folks. What do you reckon that one's off? It's all got the hinges on it. Push it in. Um. In no idea. Anybody know what these are? It just came out of the metal thing. Push back it for a while. Yeah, lots of uh, strange metal things. Yeah, somebody's definitely been digging. I do like the little bath. Mm. Yeah, anyway. Moving on, it's, yeah, it's, it is actually parts of that car, part of the uh, steering and the suspension. What happened to the path we was on? Yeah. <laughs> it seems to have disappeared. Could be anything, that. Scaffolding. All oh, right, I guess we uh, we just kind of head along this way. Could possibly go wrong. I will say one thing: there's a lot of buckets round here. Yeah. Same as that one. Yeah. Yeah. Evidence there of brickwork. Yeah, well, yeah, even in the trees. Yeah. The trees go out of it. Yeah. Because that looks like it maybe was steps down into it. Again, we'll look on the site plan and we can put all these over. Yeah, because yeah, this has got bricks all the way around, so it would suggest there was maybe a building here. The bitumen was just like it wasn't 
That was the top of that bit, yeah. Maybe it was. Uh, they can sort of do well for now. Ooh, oh, ow, find the bowls. Works there. Let's take a look. Looks like some kind of blast shower. Yeah, it's like what well, we've just looked at over there. Yeah. That does look a bit like a chamber pot or something. Is that Vicks vapor rub? That's all glass spring. Mm -hmm. Should I read it for you? There's one over him. Mm -hmm, one over him. Yeah, there's loads of them. Do that. Strange. Yeah, that is um battery. <laughs> yeah. Lid or something? Yeah. There's one of those little bottles there. Whatever was in it. Don't know. Strange little. Like it would have been something small of thermic, but that would have been really shallow, so. Yeah, looks like someone's emptied the medical cabin now, and that's old Vic's vapor rub. And yeah. Some kind of rubbing ointment, or, I don't know. A little bit of evidence there, folks, of something. In general. There's not a lot to be seen. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. of it but nothing. Oh hang on, that's quite an air raid shelter. So that was another building. All these will make sense when we see a plant and we get back. Oh, yeah. hmm. Watch it untold You can see the outside of the walls more clearly now with the uh, the brick sort of t columns as all these buildings had. Let's just... Uh, yeah, this is more of what we could see on the map, I think. Yeah, they've been totally flat under the buildings. Oh no, it's another blast shelter. Oh well. Let's see uh, if we can get a bit closer. Now we have a complete blast shelter. All the others seem to have been levelled off at the ground, but this one. 
keep intact. Oh, and by the way, that, I do believe, is an original hangar just there. That has been recovered. Nice to see the old history lives on. And that's it. That tree has been there a while. So I think they'll have built around it. Just to offer <laughs> minor protection from things flying about. Yeah, it's like a it's like a double one. Yeah, in these trees. Yeah, it's the base of yet another building. It looks like they're all gone. Oh, that looks like a, looks like a loading ramp. Yeah. See the slope of it down there, folks? So I wonder if there was a building where you were. Like some kind of strange water tank. Maybe there's some air or not. Hmm. I mean, some of this stuff could actually be farming stuff. Who knows? Always a little plant. Right on that bombshell. Let's uh, make our way back to the communal site. Right folks, we're uh, at site four, which is the communal site. This is where you came to eat and drink and play squash and go in the gym, go to church, buy things. It was a busy little site. Now, there's been some roof removals and some, I presume, asbestos removals. So, they might have uncovered some golden gems and let's take a look. I'm not going to fall this time. See? Right then folks, that will start at the beginning. Out there is the picket post, which was like a little gatehouse. And we have the post office, which still looks like the post office. I have done most of these buildings inside to quite some detail, but if there's anything we've missed, that's why we're here. That was used as a place to live when this uh, was used as a pig farm. The old Nissen hut's not looking so clever. Was that local produce or... I think that was a shop. Uh, I think it was. Well, I say, I've, I've done a few videos here and I did point them all out I think in the last one, in the last few we did. Cleared out these buildings. Well, I 
same we came, they were still full, weren't they? Scrap metal's gone. Yeah. This is the one that was uh, being burnt. Not a great deal to see, to be fair, because it's all got the raised up floors and the roof's been burned. burnt. Indeed. One. I think again this was uh, full of pens last time we came. Mm, yeah. Just seemed very void of uh, golden gems. What? What's the matter? I suppose this is about as dark as my day gets, I'm going to put my new video light on. Just have to brighten things up a bit, but... Still all pig related, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Even those doorways must have been raised up. Yeah. Because of the gap that's now underneath. No. Anyway, follow it out. The bit that has the water tank. See the water tank's now gone that was hanging out and somebody's put a rope up but I really can't see the point in going up there. Got an original light switch there. And that's underneath of where the water tank was. And that's about it. Second one I've seen. Getting silly this with the masks, folks. You shouldn't be wearing them. I bet you will. That's where we came from. <coughs> without the pens and they are nice big rooms but they're kind of featureless yeah. not much to see here folks no, there were the last one of this block. Just have a quick look. Yeah, yeah, those doors definitely didn't exist. I don't think. Because that, like you say, is the.
No. Was it string? I don't know. I think it was. This yeah. has been built on after, I think, hasn't it? Well, I've had all those syringe parts of the pigs. Oh, yeah, like they've all gone there, weren't they? Yeah. Well, that's the institute done. Uh, let's head up this way, and we'll go to the gym, and we'll go to church, and we'll go play squash. It says, isn't it? Not sure if this was the um, barber's, possibly a shoe shop or something. So at least we can kind of see the site more like what it was. Yeah. Now the piggy type stuff's gone. That's a lot of just the top that's just taken out. Yeah, where the uh, water tank used to be there, folks. Yeah, that's. that's uh, yeah. Well, it's not really attached now. So that's the squash cart. That's yet another blast shelter, which seems to be a bit of a theme today. Still got, still what this was. That's later edition. That's some kind of pump house, etc. We'll uh, have a little look in there. Yeah. Admire the amazing graffiti. It looks very So there we have it, that's the uh, the gym and the chancel on the end here. The water tanks were up in the roof on that tower and that was a shower and ablutions block. There was some more buildings further down there but they've long since gone. along this road. Yeah, it's a shame that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there were some water tanks up there folks. And these buildings were showers. Well, that was a, I'd say, some kind of boiler house. We obviously been next to the water tank. See where water has come through. It's gone through because next door was the showers. And then here is any evidence of them? This is the must have been the locker room for it because you can see where the. All the hooks were. Paint. The original green paint. Yeah, we've got an original window. And in here you can see the drains for the showers. And obviously pipe work came in, feeding it. Well, no. And the thermal stuff to keep it. Yeah. Hot. So it won't hold shower. All the electric still in, see. And again, you can see where the showers have been. And I see that they've uh, taken all the roof off this bit as well, haven't they? This is the gym end of this building. The original vents on the top. Originally this would have been the entrance in and that would have been a changing room and I do believe that would have been a changing room. If it's anything like Rick or one is officers and the other's um, sergeants. Look, oh, we've got some hooks in quite good condition. Quick look in the gym. 
which is about as much of a gym that I want to see. church at the far end. We've got the urinal in there. And that toilet gets in worse condition every time I come. It's about dead now. Yeah. They've certainly cleared a lot of the buildings up. This was a mess hall and other things, which uh, would have been a hive of recreational fun, I'm sure. And there was also some accommodation parts in this. Uh, one thing we did know is that inside, it looks like there were some open fireplaces. And that, uh, that is a chimney for one of them. This was probably the original entrance. Oh, it's really dark in there today. Oh, well, this will show up. It does seem immensely dark. It's just cold by the wind. Yeah. It's been kind of spinning forever. Now there were accommodation rooms. Oh, just on here. Yeah, lovely. That was a fireplace. As you'll see the wooden trim around the top edge and the, uh, the fancy tiles. And that connects to the chimney outside. Right, let's have a look at these accommodation rooms. Ah, cool IKS indeed. It was probably Ian that wrote that to be fair. The cool was what already been there, that's all the writing. Yeah, well, this ain't nice, is it? Cool. I'm guessing this must have been death row. Well, originally these were accommodation rooms for individuals. Looks like they all had a stove in them. Try? No idea. What do you See they've had a stove in the corner there. Not really much evidence of... Uh, The RAF is more of a fit. It was like that, that might have been modern, because there's modern lights in here. Mm. The originals were up there, pinned up against that asbestos sheet. It must have cost a fortune to keep these places in coal. If every one of these rooms had a stove, that's a lot of coal. Yeah, you can still see the light fitting up there. Yeah. There's something on the roof. It does sound like there's something on the roof. Whatever it was just took off. Yeah, they're all uh, very much the same. Ooh, except these have two windows. They were probably, more, to be fair, they were probably higher up ranking. It seemed that way at the WAF site at Pollington. Yeah. They're all pink. They all seem to have the pink paint underneath, don't they? Wow. Oh, would you look at the condition of that window? Do you think? 
going back. Yeah, it is a possibility because it looks like the woods all left in. Yeah. Oh, look at the little neat one up there. Just oh, yeah, that's the glass thing. Yeah, just a light into that corridor. I bet they're quite nice. Yeah, in fact, there's some glass still in these. Nice to see. Yeah, there were more buildings over here, but as you can see, they no longer exist. And also, that building there, that's not World War II. Oh, neither is that one. Well, that one is. This is it's quite a big building. Yeah, that'll be down to the the pig farm, I would think. Yeah, fall over. Oh, yeah, lovely thistles and metal. I've not actually seen the building really from this side. Just shows how big these were. Quite a large block. Right, onwards. You can see they've had some roofs off this one. Is that a catwalk? Yeah, maybe is. Uh oh, security fans. <sighs> yep. Oh, well, that one's got a chimney on it. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of these buildings weren't actually on the site plan for the airfield, being these ones. And I don't know what they were, because I don't think they were built for pig use. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to that now. I'm sure the place was infested with rats at one point. to be fair but it's nice to uh, it's nice to see it all cleared off and all the uh, crappy pig buildings gone gives more of a feel to what this site was like anyway I was just gonna nip and have a quick look at this building in the corner this is the uh, one of the original buildings <coughs> Have a quick look up. There was that water tank there's original. And there was a Nissan hut there. And that's just something that wants to scare the crap out of it. Not a great deal, I don't think in this folks, but Part of a, one of the doors. Just wondering if there's anything written on it, maybe. Doesn't appear to be. Like it was quite untouched from uh, the pig farm, shall we say? Don't look to have been used. Right, moving on. No, I just have an interest. I'm pretty sure where that house is just over there is where the sick quarters were. Obviously, that's uh, that's also gone. Beautiful day. Right, I'm not really interested in those buildings. Um, they're not airfield related. I'm not 
interested in the originals and why one of the originals has a, a kid's tricycle on the roof. Still built up with pens. It's a bit windy folks, I don't really have much control over the wind. So yeah, looking that way is pretty much all original airfield stuff. Everything's got raised up floors. It'd be nice to see if any of the original floors exist underneath. This one was full of stuff last time, wasn't it? I think. There's up to where there would have been a water tank. And that's been emptied out. Well, all the scrap metal's been removed, shall we say? But is that an original light fitting hanging down? Yeah. We didn't really come into this one last time. Yeah. I think I put that up there and went like that. And then so it looks very piggy when we came out. So let's have a a look this time. Yeah. <laughs> be careful where you walk, there might be an all under things. I wonder if they were original or added later. Golden 
gems in here. Mm, could be rats. Never know what's up there. Quite possibly. <laughs> Just looking at the camera. That's an interesting little room. Mm. We could have a little look in there again. Smoking. Yeah. I'd say they were original electric. As is the light fitting. As is the light switch. the dining area. Uh, that was the toilet block. This, I'm not sure, I know there was a couple of shops and I think this might have been one of them. And the poor old Nissan hut. Very peaceful. Mm. I bet that's original path. Yeah, In really good condition. Small Nissan hut. Quite sure what this was used for. The number on the wall there, I wonder if that's uh, original. We can check that on the plan. Original window. <coughs> no, I've seen better days. Can I did open last time? The door's gone. Wasn't it a metal door? Yeah. Like yeah. danger door in the top? Yeah, it's been cut off. This was a oh. I believe where there was a, a generator in the, the main power coming into the site. And oh, the doors have gone off the other end. And there's still those big ass wires coming in from underground. Wouldn't advise touching those chaps. Some of it 
so. Well, we'll see where they've been dumping everything now. Yes, yeah, so that's the toilet block with many toilets. Many cubicles. And I'm pretty sure the line, those wires inside that last building come from there. So there's a good chance it's live, yep. Yeah. Again, I don't think anything pig farm related happened here. No. But I would say that water level's gone down. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Probably the electrics for the uh, for the pumps. Um, yeah. I'm sure there was more metal covering that before. Well, in there. Yeah. Yeah, you won't want to fall in there, folks. So yeah, the little pumping house. 53A. Yeah, I don't know if it was 53A, but it's a little pumping house. Right, onwards. What the future is for this site, I don't know. It's a shame to see all the uh, the history disappear if it does get redeveloped. Well, that's uh, that's out of my control. Anyway, folks, that's it for today. Just thought we'd get out and have a quick look. See if they'd uncovered any golden gems. But, uh, I think we've seen them all. And thanks for watching, liking, subscribing. We'll catch you next time. Good up.